Is everybody at least a little bit familiar with pneumatic thermostats? There's a one pipe thermostat and there's a two pipe thermostat. Is that right? One pipe device and two pipe device. If we took a two pipe thermostat and put it in this room and we wanted to cool today, if we had a chilled water line right here and put our little valve in it and we're gonna turn the fan on, whenever the lights come on, we'll just turn the fan on for some cooling. Now, we wanna cool based on the, on the room temperature. We'd set our little set point here. We'd have something like 15 PSI coming into this guy. He'd have his little orifice and the little flapper in there and the thing, we're not gonna get into how the, how the pneumatic thermostat works. We're gonna have some kind of actuator over here with some kind of spring range. We'll choose the spring range based on whether it's normally open or normally closed. We don't really care what it is for this application. There's our thermostat and here's our branch line that comes over, does its deal. Now, we have powered the thermostat and gotten some analog signal, which in this case may be a, you know, a three to six PSI branch line over to the valve very similar to what we do with the UDC controller. You power it with 120 volts. That gets you to light up the front and it runs all the logic. Same in the, control, in the recorder. Powers all the motor and all the stuff, lets you run the logic, and then you've got your analog signal that comes out to your final control device. So it's very similar to that. Now another way we could do this, if we had a receiver controller well, we'd have an output that goes to that valve. We'd have 15 PSI coming into it. And somehow over here, we'd want a little temperature sensor that's in the space and it would run over. The temperature sensor that's in the space would be a one pipe device. It would only have one tube coming to it and it would have a little bimetal flap on there and a spring so that as the temperature got higher, it would, it would bend one way or the other, and we'd know, we'd know from the spec sheet what it's doing. But the point is, we'd only have that one pipe that goes to it. It would be powered from here. 15 PSI comes into the receiver controller, and you'd push, push air over here and draw a conclusion in here with a spring, a little mechanism, of what the temperature is in the room based on what that's bleeding off. Hi, I'm Eric Stromquist. And I'm David Stromquist. Stromquist & Company is an industry-leading distributor of commercial and industrial HVAC control. Our father founded the company in 1952. His success is built purely on customer satisfaction. He believed in hiring extraordinary people and empowering them to take outstanding care of his customers. Now my brother and I are committed to providing our customers with great products and great service. With over $2 million of inventory between our Georgia and Florida locations, an easy-to-use online ordering platform, same-day shipping, and a factory-trained team of controls experts to answer your questions, Stromquist & Company continues in its tradition of offering great service and great products. If you need to control it or measure it, Stromquist & Company has a control solution for you.